I love Tori. Death Angel rules. All right. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Will Carroll from Death Angel, checking in with you from our North American Retribution Tour. I'm here to talk about my gear on the tour. Uh, for starters, I got my new Pearl Masters kit. Um, it's, it's beautiful. I love the way it sounds. It looks pretty freaking cool. I got it like maybe two days before the tour started, three days before. So I was still learning how to get it together and you know, finding all those little niches and stuff. Uh, the hardware especially is kick-ass, man. Really durable, uh, easy to work with, flexible. I started playing Pearl drums when I was a little kid and then played Tama for the past 20 years. And now I'm using Pearl again. And I gotta say, Pearl sounds better than Tama. Yeah, let's go back around and see what else we got back here. Still using the Pearl Eliminator pedals. They're pretty old, I've had them for maybe seven years, six years. I'm eventually gonna upgrade to the Pearl Demon Drives, probably for the second leg of the tour. But these, uh, these pedals have done me no wrong. They're they're little workhorses. You know, I'm not the biggest gearhead in the world, but uh, I think I know what the size of my drums are. <laughs> 22 inches uh, bass drums by maybe 18. <laughs> they're, they're a little deeper than your normal bass drum. They sound great. Uh, I like the 22s because they're for thrash metal, like nice and punchy. Um, you know, if I was doing a single kick uh, rock band, like a Zeppelin type of thing, I'd go for a 24 just for more power and slower groove, but for faster music, you want it nice and punchy. They sound good. They sound good. 12, 13, 16, 18 for my toms. I got a little tenny over here, my little ten inch. Retribution just solution, there's no other way. Haunted by your actions of which you have yet to pay. Cause you burst some feel, that you spill out of the mouth. Bones my cold, now that you have been on their way. I haven't incorporated this little ten inch into the normal rack where I want to have it eventually. Uh, so I have it over here. I, I don't get too many opportunities to use it so far. I'm bored, I hit it a lot. But um, eventually on the second leg of the tour, I'll have this rack reconfigured and I'll have the 10 inch incorporated in right here so I can do full roundhouses. Uh, it's a little hard because I'm a left-handed, open-handed, left-handed drummer. So like my right side, it's, it's like right here. So it's kind of hard to get the 10 inch right there without like tripping up on the cymbal or hitting the cymbal while I'm trying to do a roll. It sounds great. It's the best sounding drum of all the drums, I think. I love the way it sounds. Great. These are Minel Cymbals. Kick ass. Uh, great company. They're treating me like the star that I am not. <laughs> I break a lot of cymbals. I just break a lot of shit. Period. Roy cracked two Chinas on this tour, and uh, it's a good thing I brought a couple of backups, but the sound, Soundcaster Fusions are, are the way to go with Chinas, man. They sound fantastic, and all the MV10s and 20s sound great, and the 8s. And I'm using a new company, or newer to me at least, uh, called Silver Fox.
first couple weeks to tour, I'm getting used uh, to the different sizes and weights. Like right now, I'm using a 180. So I'm using those, and uh, they don't break as easily as Vic Firth. I used to use Vic Firth Buddy Ridge sticks, uh, but they didn't want to play ball with me. Fuck him. I'm using Silver Fox. <laughs> I'd go through maybe three pair a night sometimes, sometimes. Uh, but on this tour with Silver Fox, I'm breaking maybe one stick a show or maybe a pair a night. And that's really important, you know, playing fast music, your stick breaks in half. You have not, not, not much time to grab another stick and not drop a beat. That's about it, man. I'm having a great time on this tour. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you, Milo. Thank you, Silver Fox. And let's rock and roll. <laughs>